Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about your WordPress headers. So this came up on a new site that we're working on and they have different headers on different pages depending on what the page looks like it may have the header and it may not it may have the menu or it may have a mobile menu so i wanted to show you guys maybe like the front page has a big logo or something like that but then all the other pages have a little logo in the top or something so i wanted to show you guys what the what you can do with the headers in wordpress so that you can make those different on different pages right so let's get started jump right into the code all right, so here we're on the ideapro.io site that we do testing and development and stuff like that on. And we've got our code open here to that site. And so right now we're on the 2021 theme and you know we, we've got that theme selected. But in this video, we're gonna create a, a completely new theme. And it's not gonna take us very long at all. And I'm gonna show you what's required to create that new theme. And then I'll show you what's required to do the um, unique headers that we want to do. All right. So over here in our code, we're going to go to themes and we're going to create a new folder and a new file. So in the way VS code works is we can tell it to create a folder and a file at the same time. So what we're going to call this one is let's just call it different headers theme. And then first file we're going to create is a index I spell it right index.php file and so now you see with um, VS code it automatically creates that folder and then creates that index.php file inside of it all right so the next thing that we need we're going to create an another new file and that file is going to be our functions.php whoops which we're probably not going to use that in this um, video but I can we'll, we might use it in future videos all right so we're going to create that functions.php file and the way i'm doing that in vs code is on i'm on a mac so i'm hitting command shift save so i created that one index.php file and then i'm just saving it as different names by hitting command shift s so i'm going to create hit command shift s again and the next one that we're going to need is we need a headers file so we're going to say header.php and then we need a footer footer.php and then we need a style so we're going to do style.css now in this style.css since this is the last one that we're going to create we're going to create some comments up here and we're going to say theme wow i am not spelling good today at all theme name is different headers by idea pro let's make that unique that's the name of it all right so that's really all we need in that uh, comments at the top. You can put description and author and all that stuff, but I'm gonna not do that to sp help speed up this video, all right? So we're gonna save that. We're gonna come back to our index.php file and we're gonna do a get header function up here at the top. And then here we're gonna do a get footer, whoops, like that. And so that's the default, the basic that we need for that. Now, in our header.php, we're going to create an HTML5. Oh, come on, HTML5. There we go. We're going to create an HTML5 document, and we're going to just put in different headers. That's fine. All right, so now if you were doing actual a WordPress site, you would want to use the WP title function here in the title section, but I'm not gonna worry about that in this video. So now we're gonna copy this, the closing body and the closing HTML, and we're gonna, whoops, we're gonna save our, our header file, we're gonna come over to our footer file, and we're gonna paste that in here. All right, and then we're gonna save that, and we're gonna go back to our header file, and right here above the closing head, we're gonna open up some PHP brackets, and we're gonna say WP head, like that. And then over here in the footer, right before the closing body, we're gonna open up some PHP tags and we're gonna say WP foot, footer, WP footer, 
Is that what that is? WP head. That's right, right? WP head, yeah, and then WP foot. Is that right? Doesn't sound right. WP footer. Yeah, whatever. All right, so WP footer. All right, so then we're going to save that and we're going to put a thing here that says hi just to make sure that that is the right function and it's working correctly. Okay, so now we're gonna go over to our themes and we're going to refresh this page. And so now we have different headers by Idea Pro, and we're gonna activate that. All right, so now we can go in and we can look at our page here, WP foot. Oh, footer, there we go, see, I did do it wrong. There we go, now we got it. Now we got our bar up here and we got our, our little high. So I did type it wrong. Okay, so now we've got this header and let's say we want to um, include a uh, logo. So in this video, I'm not gonna create, bring in an image or anything like that. I'm just gonna say logo, right? So then we come over here and we refresh and now we have the, the logo up here. So we can put in this is going to be our whoops default logo 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 all right so now we come over here we refresh we've got this is our default logo and then here on our index page we're going to create um, a couple of p tags and this is p tag one whoops this is P tag two, and this is P tag three. This is P tag three. All right, so we're gonna come back over here and we're gonna refresh, and here's our paragraph tags, and then we are going to say in our footer, we're gonna say, uh, we're gonna do another P tag and say this is the footer. All right, so now we have a header you know, some paragraph tags on our index page, and then we've got the footer here. So those paragraph tags are here on our index page. Now, what we wanna do is we wanna create a new template, right? So we're gonna create a new file, and we're going to say template, um, different header, template, template dot, uh, hat, hyphen diff dot PHP. Doesn't matter what we name it. And up here at the top, we're gonna to open up some PHP tags and we're gonna say, you know, some comments here and we're gonna say uh, template name, different header. All right, so now what we're gonna do is come right here, open up some PHP tags and say get header. And then we're gonna say get footer and we're gonna copy these paragraph tags. And we're gonna come over here and we're gonna put them here between these. And we're gonna say, uh, this is P tag one diff header. Okay, that way we know, and let's copy that for all three of these here. All right, so now we know which template file we're on. So we're gonna go into our pages here and we're gonna to go to the front page and we're going to change this front page to a different, there we go. Where's our settings? There it is. So I want that full screen. There we go. So we're gonna change the template to our different header template here. All right, so we're gonna update. And now if we come back over here and refresh, now we have, um, now we're on that template page. If you don't see your template page uh, in this list here, go over to settings and permalinks and just update the permalinks. You don't have to change anything at all. Just hit save changes here and that will update your permalinks. Then you can come back to pages, uh, go back into the page you wanna edit and your template file should show up here if you've done it correctly, okay? So now we're gonna create this header to be different for our different header page. And the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna hold Command Shift and hit S again. 
that we were creating a whole new file or saving this file as a different name. And so this one's going to be header and we're going to call it big text, right? Big text dot PHP. So we've called this header hyphen big text dot PHP. All right. So here we're going to copy this. We're going to create some H1 tags. We're going to put that in there and then we're going to put in a H2 tag and we're going to say this is the different this is a different header okay and this should work all right so now we're going to save that we're going to come back over here and we're going to go to our page and we're going to refresh and nothing happens because we didn't tell it that we wanted it to be a different header so we've created this header big text.php and now we can go over to our template file and this function here actually takes two arguments. The first one is a name and then the second one is a, an array of arguments. And I'm not going to go into that second one yet, but I will in another video. It's very, 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 very useful. So here we're actually going to put in big text. So by default, WordPress looks for header.php. If you've said this is the name of the header file that I want to use, it will look for hyphen uh, header hyphen and then whatever that name you put in is dot PHP. So we're going to say big text right here. We're going to hit save. We're going to come back over here to our page and we're going to refresh. Look at that. We have a whole different header for this page. Now if we go into another page, let's go to the um, I don't know, let's go to, let's create a new page and call it about, all right? And we're gonna publish that. And we're gonna use just the default template on this page. So on this page, we have this header. And then if we copy here and go to the about page, about like this, we have the default header here. So now on this page, we have the new header, and on this one, we have the old header. So if you have different logos, or you want it to be one to be a um, really big image at the top, and you want it to be the same image for each template, um, or, you, or you bring in a featured image, you could do that with a logo on there, and maybe a, a, a white logo, and maybe a white menu. But then on some pages, you want it to be a little bar at the top that's a you know whatever color with the the logo and, and the menu there so you can create different headers and all you have to do is tell it in the template what header that you want to use by using the name of the header hyphen big text dot php all right you can also do that same thing on the footer i'm not going to go into that in this video but i will do another video if you guys want me to it works the same exact way it has a name and arguments and it really really helps if you're doing different footers like one footer we have we have a form on there in the footer and another footer we have no form um, so there's all kinds of things you can do with this and it helps so much to be able to create different headers and not have to create the header in the actual template file itself so in here we could get rid of this um, and create our unique header for each template file but if you don't have to and you just have to you just need two different types of headers it's easier to do it this way hope you guys enjoy this video please like subscribe comment what you're doing with this and if you have any questions about this or um, or if you need me to expand on the footer and the arguments that go into the second um, the argument there so good to see you guys see you in the next one thanks